sitting here in Davos, Switzerland at the World Economic Forum with um, Italian uh, Finance Minister Pier Carlo Padoan. Um, you've used the last few days for lots of meetings with European policymakers or international policymakers and businessmen here. We've seen in the last few weeks, months, a lot of tensions between Rome and Brussels, Rome and Berlin. What is going on? There's no tensions, actually. There is simply the fact that Italy uh, claims the place it deserves in Europe in decision-making about issues that have to do with Italy, but have to do especially with the future of Europe. We want a stronger Europe. Europe is an opportunity. Uh, we need to build that together in many areas, from the financial to the economic to the migrants issue. Um, what are the areas where you think Italy's voice isn't being heard loud enough? Well, there are a number of specific areas where uh, we think that uh, more equal treatment should be applied, uh, including in past treatment of, of state aid policy, for instance. But uh, all having said that, we really are concerned about the lack of a strong growth strategy in, in employment creation uh, in Europe. And also, we want to have a better voice and a better view on policies to deal with migrant issues. And also, there, is, there are some disputes in the energy area. So you think that um, Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker is not paying enough attention to you, or is, is it starting to change? Is he starting to react to, to, to Rome's demands? I just observe that there is a dialogue, which sometimes takes uh, some, some vocal aspects, but in substance, we are working together to define not just a new strategy for Italy in Europe, but an Italian contribution to the European strategy. You just mentioned one of the aspects that you're discussing with Brussels at the moment is state aid in, in particular, like what can Italy do to help its banks shed non-performing loans, loans that are in arrears but that are blocking up lending and other, other actions by, by Italian banks to get the economy growing again. What are the issues that you're facing here and how close are you to resolving them? We have been in discussion for a long time with the Commission on several models of the so-called bad banks. In the meantime, the Italian government has introduced instruments that facilitate exchanges and has introduced major pieces of uh, banking sector reform. What we are now looking at is an additional instrument which would facilitate further NPL transactions in collaboration with, with the Commission services and, and the commissioners. Mm. There are some people who claim that that's just uh, ta using taxpayer monies to help banks once again through the back door. Is that right? First of all, let me remind that uh, Italy is the country that has used less than any other country in Europe public money to support the banking system. Other countries have used as much as several hundred uh, billion euros to support their own banking system. So this perception that Italy is using taxpayers' money for, to help banks is totally misplaced, number one. Number two, this is not about losing money. This is about, for instance, providing a state guarantee, which does not mean using directly that money, to facilitate exchanges where the market alone cannot provide the, the, the right answer. Mm. You, you believe that, and we were talking about this a bit earlier, that this is just one broader element of many things that Italy is trying to do to start growing again and clean up its banks. What are the other things that are in the pipeline for this year? Well, first of all, Italy is strongly committed to a continuous and strong agenda for reforms. And we are already seeing the benefits. Italy's growth is accelerating, and uh, we already see in the figures that growth is accompanied by uh, much more job creation than we expected. This is very good news. We are producing many more jobs because of our structural reforms and we are producing better quality jobs, especially in the sense of having long-term open-ended contracts rather than temporary contracts. So the quality of employment in the country is improving as well as the quantity. So we'll meet again here next year and see how things worked out. I will be okay. here. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you.